hello guys i am back again still updating you with the breaking trending news what is going on in nigeria so good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day all right guys i'm um, still on namdeka news um, case the federal high court in abuja as at yesterday friday dismissed the fundamental right enforcement suit filed by namdeka against the dss we already know the details of the whole story uh, Namdi Kanu's um, case is coming up on the 30th of this month, June, and he is um, currently still in DSS facility. So uh, many people still um, wish and pray and expect uh, Namdi Kanu to get his bail um, on the 30th of this June. The bail application or the bail hearing was supposed to be um, the 16th of, was it 26th of last month, but According to court uh, registrar justice, Binta and Yakov was not disposable uh, for that hearing. So the case was adjourned to uh, this month, June 30th. Okay, so justice, um, Taiwo Taiwo in a judgment dismissed the suit for lacking in merit and substance. All right, um, through his lawyer, uh, Maxwell Okbara, Namdekanu had in fundamental right enforcement suit sued the director of uh, DSS and the Office of First and Second Respondent, uh, respectively. So he also joined the Attorney General of Federation as state respondent in the suit, okay, that was filed on the 13th of December last year. So Namdi Kanu had alleged that his health was um, not in good condition in the DSS custody, while also alleging that the medical personnel assigned to attend to him by the DSS were unqualified. And, um, and also, um, the DSS, through the accounts of Lidowu Awo, disagreed with Maxwell Okbara. So according to a DSS lawyer, he argued that Namdekanu's lawyer had not shown how the doctors attending to his clients were doing quack work. He further argued that... Um, Merely stating that the medical doctor, um, the medical doctor's his office assigned to attend to Namdekanu were quack did not amount to conflict. Adding that uh, Maxwell Lokbara had not shown any material evidence uh, to prove that uh, those medical personnel assigned to Namdekanu were doing quack jobs. All right, and then the, um, delivering the judgment, Justice Taiwo held that. Namdi Kanu had not provided sufficient evidence that his fundamental right were infringed upon by security agent, that is the DSS, okay, as there is no proof of torture before the court. So um, that is the update I have for you. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, but um, hopefully people still believe his lawyers, according to um, Ifani uh, Ejofo, uh, the last visit, he said Namdekanu is happy that um, what is going on in Southeast, okay, the people that are perpetrating all the atrocities in security in Southeast has been exposed. Okay, um, I think Namdekanu was reacting to uh, the confessional statement by uh, the Methodist prelate that was abducted and then the 100 million uh, ransom paid for his release and then the um, and also the arrest, I believe the arrest of um, a native doctor in connection with uh, the beheading of the lawmaker uh, in Anambra State. Okay, remember IPOB was uh, where the people accused of carrying out those acts, but the native doctor that was arrested uh, has no link to IPOB. So among others, and even a police officer who said uh, that um, the people carrying out the insecurity in Saudis are the Fulani headsmen, that they are not IPOB or the e-books, all right? And they are being aided by military personnel. So according to uh, Ifanye Jofo, the Namdekanu is happy that those people has been exposed. All right, guys, um, I quickly wanted to update you on that. If you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. See you guys in another update.